Yo, what's going on guys, Batman here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a 1v1 map with zero delay. Um, I'll also be showing you guys while I'm making this how to make it uh, look as aesthetic if you really want to. Because I prefer those over just like a plain, you know, like map with nothing in it. Uh, so we're going to start off right away. Basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to press create new. And you're going to go over to Kevin Floating Island, right? This is how you're going to make it all water, nothing, no island, nothing if you really want it. Because it just looks nice. You're just going to press Kevin Floating Island, then you name it, whatever. Let's get right into the map. But once you spawn into the map, the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously delete all these because we don't want these here. So just give me a sec while I uh, speed through this. Now that we've deleted everything, as you can see, it says zero max used at the top. What you're going to do is try to find about where the middle is. So for me, the middle is going to be about here, I'd say. Right. Uh, and first thing we're going to do is just go all the way down to the ground. Um, and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go galleries and we're going to find. Uh, give me a second, guys. What you're gonna want to find is the reflective black g gallery in your galleries. You're gonna open it, and then you're gonna look for floor. If you want to, you could just bring it down here, and then your wall, obviously, because these two are the most important for you. But for me, I'm just gonna do it like this because I'm too lazy to do that. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna build. So we're gonna, okay, I don't know why this guy got up here, but we're just gonna take this. We're gonna do like this. Don't ask why it's going up here. I'll just ignore that part. Just do, you know, whatever you want your one v one to kind of look like. So I'm going to want it to be, I'd recommend you first place down some wooden ramps just to see what's going to be like an even in the middle. So it doesn't look really weird or stuff. So for me, what I did is I just put it uh, two, as you can see, two by, I believe three. Yep. Two by three. Uh, so now we just have this nice thing in the middle. You don't need these ramps yet because they're not going to look like that. Don't worry. You can break that. So now you have this nice little thing of land in the middle. Next, you're going to do is go in here and find your ramp. So I'm going to use this ramp right i'm gonna place that there i'm gonna place the other one here so so far this is what it should look like it's a nice clean little 1v1 area there's not much honestly like it's just like you could just you honestly could just leave it like this if you really wanted to this would honestly be zero delay but this is this is where it depends on you so zero delay would be this if you want like just like it doesn't it's not really gonna affect your game that much it's just gonna look nicer but have like a teeny bit more delay since you're obviously adding more stuff you're not going to really feel it unless you're like me with high ping usually I, I don't have 20 ping i don't know why it's so low just depends on if you want it to be this simple little thing or if you want to actually make it like a full map so you can publish it and it looks nice so next thing you're going to want to do is obviously get out of your gallery or whatever and let's just start off by adding a spawn pet so let's just search spawn player spawn and since there's two people here let's just place two here we're going to place one here and the other one right here right so you got both of your spawns and make it as always on it's on always player team any player class any priority go yeah whatever use this island start yep visible in game off play audio no and that's it you're just gonna make it for the other one so basically all you're doing is just turning off the uh, visible in game so you have these two things right now i didn't really make those even so i'd recommend you do make them even so it doesn't look ugly because that just looks weird so you'd want it kind of like this i'd recommend by the way when making this um you use a grid snap i'm just being dumb right now as you see look if you don't use a grid snap you're gonna mess something up so that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna copy this guy we're gonna turn on grid snap i'm gonna put it at 16 i'll put you down there and then yeah see it's the same it's just this one should be just one over like that all right there you go so now they're literally identical it doesn't look ugly or anything they're both going to be invisible in game don't worry so now you're just going to have your two spawns you guys could actually one v one so like i was saying this you could just leave it like this boom you're done but if you want to see how to do a reset build how to make it that when you go in the water you teleport back over here somewhere um how to add guns obviously you're going to want to add guns but yeah that's, so that's what we're going to go do next so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at item spawner um i'm just going to put a, a shotgun and grappler because those are the two main ones you could put an ar or whatever it's the exact same thing i'm just gonna place both of these down right make sure they look good make sure they're like pretty equal i think they're equal unless i'm just like tripping right now they look equal to me they are off the ground but that doesn't really matter you don't want them inside the ground because they'll be too hard to get out um but yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here make items respawn random spawns off base visible we'll make that off spawn item on timer we're gonna do that spawn respawn item on timer we'll do off would cause all this stuff off initial weapon you know we, we don't we don't care about any of this run over pickup you don't want that happening or else it's just going to keep you know <laughs> it'll keep doing that um put it on, on none so it doesn't just fall onto the ground it's a bit weird item scale you can put out whatever i'm just gonna put a 1.75 so you can see i'm gonna put it at two just so you can see it better enable a game start obviously yes 
continuously spawn items we're gonna want on um and then go all the way down and boom you're done so now you could honestly actually i'd recommend you copy that right so now we have the exact same thing here happening and it's not just like messed up on one and the other one's different and then what we're going to do is make sure you're not in the middle or else you'll go to both of the same one i'm going to go over here i'm going to go to weapons we're going to obviously get rid of that and we're going to search for pump i'm going to use a normal pump shotgun a gold pump boom okay and then we're going to get a grappler which are n which isn't there we're gonna just because um by the way i'd recommend getting skies grappler because normal grappler does like to mess up in creative sometimes um like last season it was completely bugged like you couldn't even use it so i wouldn't recommend using that when i use skies grappler boom okay now we're gonna go over here and we're gonna go play and we're just gonna drop there you go and then we're gonna go on this side and it should pick it up i think that was a bit too far sorry you're gonna want to be not too far but not too close there you go so now this is what it's going to look like, right? Boom, you have your guns. Like I was saying, you could just leave it. You guys don't need to copy everything. I'd recommend doing at least this whole base part. And if you don't want to add anything else, then leaving it like this. But also doing the game user or the game settings that I'm going to show you guys. But this is like the main part, right? You're going to have your guns. You're going to have your player spawns. And that's basically it. So now that we have this done, uh, you have your core done. Let's, before we do anything else, like a build reset or like a teleporter here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to my island and make sure everything is what we want it to. So we're going to make it max players. Obviously, we're going to make it two because, <laughs> you know, obviously. T voice chat, obviously all teams, free for all, team size dynamic. Uh, we're going to spawn limit infinite after last spawn. Yeah, total rounds. Doesn't matter. Team rotation off and end game on match point win no you know all this time limit make sure this is obviously off i don't know why it's going up it's always going down press time win off go all the way down game win condition uh eliminations like all this stuff off right join in progress you're just going to make spawn okay i don't know why it's just letting me it's it's not letting me click the right stuff <laughs> right look we'll make it spawn join in progress to spawn spawn location spawn pads Spawn pad selection, random, respawn type, individual, post game. You see, like all this stuff, you want it basically the exact same settings for me. Auto start off, game start countdown will make it like two, just so it's like almost instant. I'll make it one, just to make it basically an instant. Force start at max players, force start delay, all this stuff you don't need. It's just score, allow friendly fire, no. Disable player collision off, because uh, you're going to want player coll collision in a, um, in a 1v1 map. Uh, time of, of day this is up to you i'll show you. i'll get back to this in a second so don't worry guys uh so what we're gonna do is just skip all this invincibility obviously off this i'd recommend no just because you don't really want your map ca catching on fire uh then starting health 100 percent max health 100 allow health recharge off a starting shield percent we'll do 100 max shield 100 um unless you want it to be one of those 185 maps so then you could make it that your starting shield is a hundred percent like this and then we're gonna make it 75 shield uh you know so it's like a one pump map and then you could always add um okay right and you could add over shield just as this how we're gonna make it the 185 like headshot um pump we're gonna do allow over shield on over shield max we're gonna make that we're gonna make that five so it's you're gonna have 180 hp you could still get one tapped in the head Overshield recharge will make that we'll make that five. We'll make that five seconds. Charge rate will make that like two. Infinite ammo will make that on. Infinite consumables on. Infinite building materials on. All this allow aim assist. Yes, allow building obviously. Yeah. Allowed to edit default. Building can destroy environment off. You don't want that on. Environment damage off. Player or player built only. But uh, this is what I meant. Player built only. Structure damage. You're gonna want um, enemy and self built, and then weapon and dis weapon destruction. You just I don't know. <laughs> you, I don't I don't really know that. Down but not out. You're gonna want off. Start with pickaxe. Yes. Allow item drop. Yes. And you don't want this. You want it to um to be keep because if you die, you don't want your items to drop. Allow item drop. Yeah. Allow item pickup. Auto. You know all this stuff doesn't matter. Respawn time. I'd recommend putting that to like two or three or whatever you want. Fall damage off, gravity normal, jump fatigue, I'd have off for you. 
allow mantling on all this stuff is like up to you this part here allow hurdling allow sprinting i'll leave those energy max um energy max uh okay allow sliding obviously allowed slide kick i'm just gonna turn that off this one too glider redeploy off i'd recommend you have that off in a 1v1 map um player flight sprint off <laughs> player flight we don't want any of that flight speed yeah, yeah health granted on elimination we're just gonna do it full so we're just gonna go all the way up just so you get full health after killing them we'll just put it at 200 because okay because it doesn't matter obviously you're gonna have a 180 health or 200 depending on if you're making a one pump map or not self damage on only yeah we leave all this stuff and i'd recommend you add this too even though there's no fall damage i don't know just in case it glitches you never know ui counter game winner you know all this stuff doesn't really matter um you can actually like go over this i'm not going to just because like you're not really going to have a ui because you know it's it's not going to um obviously affect you if you're not ending around it's just an infinite 1v1 uh next we're gonna go debug there's basically nothing tools i'd make sure you add an island backup description you could do whatever you could do whatever like i was saying permissions okay so we've basically done all this now for the people who care about how the game looks basically this is done like i was saying you're done you could start the game everyone map but now for the other for people who want to make this more advanced and just look nicer and just be a better map what we're going to do is we're going to go here time of day i like to put it at about i think 8 p.m it was 8 p.m yeah look 8 p.m just has this really nice like look to it right we didn't even add a um we didn't even add any of those uh, things that like make the, the map look different. We didn't add any of that yet. Light brightness, I'll leave it all like this. Rim light intensity if you want it to just look different. You know, as you can see, like look at my character. If I go to, um, if I go to my island again, I'll show you if I make this like max or whatever. Right. You'll notice my character is glowing a little bit, obviously. <laughs> Because, uh, you know, it's just depending on um, that. I'm just going to keep it as, um, I'm going to keep it down here to be on zero. Just so it's like, you know, just so there's nothing else. Fog thickness. We'll leave all of this stuff. And then we're going to be done with that. These are our main settings. Then you're just going to have this. It just looks nice. Like I was saying, you could leave it like this if you really want to. Because this also does look really nice. But we're going to take it a bit further. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to creative, devices, we're going to do a sky dome. Place this guy down. If I can remember the settings I have. We're going to make during all light source sun. Light source use custom color. If you really want to. I'm going to turn that off actually. Because I did like the. Um, no. So keep it on. Light source custom color. We're going to have as white. Just because it looks nice. Uh, sky dome top we're gonna make that like a light blue then we're gonna kind of make it like go into like this type of blue i think now i think we're gonna go into like this purple and then we're gonna go into like a really bright pink so it might yeah it'll look like that which looks pretty nice you could leave it like this if you really want to um i might keep it like this like i was saying i did actually kind of like how it looked like without this sky dome but stars visibility you could do bright so it kind of has like stars in it but i'm not gonna really keep that um Horizon Fog, I'm going to make this like 25 and we're going to make it like pink. So it kind of adds another like layer of pink onto it, which looks actually really cool. Now that I look at it, like this looks really nice if I, um, if I were to just leave it like this. Like it just has a nice like transforming all the way down. Then Horizon Fog, like I was saying, we leave it like that. Use volume, no. Ambient light. Uh, clouds, I'm going to make them twisty because I actually like the clouds. No, I don't. Never mind. I'm gonna put some clouds just so it looks nicer, because it does look, it does add some color to it. You know, having like just these clouds, you could always change the color to them because you don't have to have them all white. Uh, I'm gonna leave them to be all white just because it does add this nice color to it. And then, what I'm gonna do, post process, you can make it evening, night, whatever. Evening just looks really bright. I wouldn't recommend that. Nighttime makes it a bit darker, but it has this really nice look to it, right? I might keep it as nighttime, but I, I probably won't. Or you could do classic, right? Classic look. Or you could go morning, which is really bright. We're not gonna keep that. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep it as day, because day just looked nice. You know, it has this nice, satisfying like feel. I'm 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 either gonna keep it a day or evening. 
are I'm gonna either keep it as day or nighttime because it just looks nice but um I think I'm gonna make it nighttime just because it has this nice like feel to it when you're um oh <laughs> sorry you have like this nice feel when you're um you know like looking around the map you know it has this like blue you have your clouds and it just kind of transforms slowly into this like pink just looks really nice because that's it we have the main part this is your main thing. Next thing we're gonna do is make the water a different color. So it's not just this boring blue. You can leave it if you want to, but I don't want it to look like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a barrier, barrier device. We're gonna go all the way down until the bottom. So now that we're at the bottom, we're gonna customize. We're gonna make it always on, base visible. We'll do off. And then we're gonna make this one. I don't know if they added any new ones because I haven't done this in so long. Oh, they definitely have, holy cow. They've added so many. Okay, so you can make whatever. I like this dream sky because it looks nice. Box, we'll make a uh, um, box, obviously. We'll make this 100, 100, and then height. I think it's 3.5. If you put this to the very, very bottom, 3.5 is going to be your exact height up. Block, weapon, fire, yeah, collides with camera. We'll just do off. Doesn't matter. Shrinks to allow building. Boom. And then if we go back up, that's a bit too high. Like, you could leave it like this. I'd say that this is a bit too high. Um, 3.5, I forgot, is going to be for your mutator zone, guys. If so, if you just want to like add that right now and you don't want this thing, um, you could add this, but look, you have these like random things like where it does that. So I'd recommend you actually make it a lot lower. So what I'm going to do is actually going to make it, I'm going to make it, I think, well, let's try two. Let's try two. I forgot how that looks. I think two is a bit too low, even though it does like kind of look cool. I'd recommend maybe putting like 2.5 or like, three maybe even three or right, i'm gonna put 2.9 guys let's try 2.9 look at this 2.9 is gonna be right there yeah 2.9 kind of looks cool as this, and once again 2.9 is gonna make that like darker feel to it now we got this really nice like color like color around it this looks really cool i'm just gonna have it like this for now and then next thing we're gonna do is i'm gonna show you guys how to do the um teleport back onto here so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get a teleporter oh sorry okay i cannot spell teleporter place now we're just gonna place it we'll place it right here where you basically spawn in so you know uh, that's a bit low my bad guys so now we'll have this teleporter spawn you guys right here you're gonna make this one on none on none enabled all select ver you know all this stuff we'll do um we'll ignore we'll never link to target no teleport no 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 eh, yeah we're done <laughs> that's it you just add that part now once you've done that we're gonna get a mutator zone so get mutator zone and then you're gonna go all the way down back to this guy all right we're gonna place him right next to him on the ground once again and then we're gonna make this guy on all or always i mean zone visible no base visible no we're gonna make this one 100 100 and then this one, this is the one I was talking about. We put 3.5. That should be an exact height for you guys. And then, yeah, we could turn these off. It doesn't really matter. I was saying these ones don't really matter to you guys. Because it's just going to teleport you. Enable VFX. We're going to do off. That weapon. Yeah, yeah. You see, we, 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 don't, we don't care about that part. What we do care, though, is once you've done that part, we're going to do on player entering zone. We're going to do select device. And we're going to find our teleporter. We should only have one. If not, then you could go up and see what it's called. And we're just going to make it teleport. So now, I'll show you guys. Look at that. Look at where this green thing is. Once you get onto this part right here, so once you hit the water, you'll instantly teleport right here. Right? You'll arrive right here. You can come back. So if you fall anywhere in the water within a pretty far distance, I'd say. Like, if I show you guys. Like, I don't know why you guys would be over here after 1v1 unless you're just, like, side, like, fully going this way. You have all the way over to here until it's going to, like, basically just, you know, like teleport you back uh, or until it doesn't work anymore um so you should be chilling for that let me just make my flight to be 1.5 again so that we did the main part now we're going to do building um building uh what's it called uh like build break so what we're going to do is we're going to find we're going to close that we're going to go up to i forgot where it is here it is explosive device take our explosive device and put it right here right we have explosive device uh, I like to just make it look perfect, so we're gonna put it like that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do can be damage off health. 
uh, doesn't matter, display off, blast radius, you want that to be the maximum. So I'll put 10, I think is max, yep, yeah, 10 is the maximum. Player damage, obviously you want this to be zero. Ignore team, structure damage, we'll do, just to be sure, we'll do five, or no, we'll do a thousand, just to be sure. Uh, damage indestructible, obviously no. Knockback, we want none, because it'll make you fly. No, explode on proximity off, has time detonation, no. Audio, no. No, visible during game, no. Because that'll just be weird. I will do off, show health bar, no. Play audio, no. Device mesh, a barrel, you can, it doesn't matter because you're not going to be seeing it. And then time until reset is allowed, we'll do 0.1. Press OK for now because we're not done yet. Now what we got to do is add a button. Now I'm going to put a button, but then change. I'll show you guys how to kind of make it look cooler, the button, so it's not just straight up a button. Uh, I'm going to add my button right here. Uh, you can add two buttons if you really want to. Uh, here, let me just add one like right here. I'll turn it around in a second. I just want to make sure it's like, yeah, so it's going to be more like, I'd say, like that. I'd say this is about, yeah, this is basically the same thing. It's about one up, I think. Is that it? I think that's too high. Is it? I think this is about it. I think this is it. So we're just going to flip this guy around real quick. Oh, okay. We're just going <laughs> to... So I don't know why I found that funny. So now we have them both. We got two of the same button. You, you probably, I would recommend doing one and then doing this part. Uh, so that's probably what I'll do. I'll just do this and copy and just change it because that was really dumb. But we're going to do instant interaction time. Any, allowed class, any. And then times can trigger, infinite delay. We'll just do one. I think no no we'll do we'll, we won't put reset delay just to make sure we'll put at 2.0 or 0 0.25 so it doesn't like like break this trigger sound disabled enabled traction text could be reset builds visible during games we'll do no you'll see why you'll see why traction radius we'll do this at 0 0.5 okay so just trust me on this one this is what we'll do for now and then what we'll do is we'll do that this is on interact. We'll send to our explosion, to our explosive device, select function, and just explode. That's it. <laughs> and then what we could also, um, what's it called? I forgot what our settings are here. Okay, so now we have all this, right? We have this setup that didn't matter. I don't know why I had that there. But um, if I'm not wrong, over here, we're supposed to have something where it's like reset. I can't see it. I'm being a little blind right now. Sorry guys. But if I'm not wrong, it's supposed to just auto reset. So we could just try, okay. If you want, it's not like I was saying, you could copy this guy over, change him to be like perfectly right here. I think, right? Okay, I don't know why I just did that. Sorry. So this guy, and then we're just gonna like turn it around. We'll just put him up by one. Or we'll just make him sideways by one. So now we can delete this guy. And uh, yeah. Sorry guys, it doesn't have to be this complicated. It's just I'm a little slow. I'm being a little I'm being a little dumb right here. So yeah, you just want to make one and you'll copy it over to the other side if you want to. So then now it should break when I do this. Uh, let me just test it real quick just to be sure that it resets and everything. So give me a sec. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our um, explosive device. I'm pretty sure this is what we're supposed to do. I just kind of forgot. Um, and we're just going to make it that every time you press your button and button three, because it's the same thing, uh, it should on interact. Yeah, so it should instant interact. Like once you interact, it should reset it, if I'm not wrong. Um, so it should take, like I was saying, you want to delay or else it'll glitch out. So let me just test this one, just to make sure, like I was saying, everything I'm saying is not false, because I haven't done this in a while, guys, like I was saying. You're not supposed to have continuously spawned, so let's just test that out real quick, guys. So now, let's say we're just building, right? Right now, I didn't even warm up, so I do need to warm up. Right, we're warming up. Oh, uh-oh, I accidentally fell. Oh, I'm back here. And then our button, which I will show you guys in a second. Oh, look at that. It reset. Oh, no, I'm building everywhere right reset building everywhere again reset i was saying now we are finished but let me just end game for you guys so i can show you one last thing which is making these look nicer so now, as you saw we have the radius around it 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to creative and let's just find something in our gallery that just looks nice so let's say let's say dusty depot no this is not just find something that looks cool so give me a minute while i go searching for that all right for the sake of this video i literally did not know what i could have put but uh this <laughs> this matches our theme so we're just gonna resize it make it a bit smaller i'll put it about like this big I, i'd say and then we're not gonna do anything special all we're really gonna do is um let me just take this and make sure it's in the middle we have this is a nice little umbrella uh, let me just copy it over and put it on this side as well. Uh, let me actually make it look nice so it's not just randomly, you know, what I'm doing right now. So it should look like this, right? We have it on both sides. And now when I end, or I mean, when I start game, we should have a perfectly good 1v1 map, nice and aesthetic. Obviously, you don't need to use a little, <laughs> a little parasol. But um, <laughs> I don't know what else I could have used because nothing else was pink and looked nice. Uh so yeah so you guys could use whatever but it just this one looked nice but as you can see it says reset build on our actual like thing like i was saying it works obviously let's just build like that let's just go to our little uh, paper parasol over here oh breaks like i was saying it still reset it still works as you see like if i just crank real quick it didn't even warm up yeah i suck right now but if i go back here look at that still resets we have two nice little things it looks really cool like i was saying you can do whatever you want that's basically it hope you guys did enjoy i hope i taught you guys something uh so we now have you can make your full zero delay map and i was as i was saying look at my ping real quick guys before we end the video um i usually i would like to like add the fact that i usually play on like 30 ping so i don't know why my ping is so good right now but it is as you can tell um, like I was saying, I need to warm up, so I kind of suck right now, guys, so I couldn't really show you guys. But look at that, I just hit, I'm hitting 17 ping. That, that's like the best I've ever hit in my life. But that's basically it. Hope you guys did enjoy. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, comment down below if I helped you or if you want to see anything else uh, creative-wise, because I am able to do that. Save the world-wise, because I'm able to do that. Competitive-wise, because I'm able to do that. Anything, because I'm able to do that. Um, anything Fortnite-related, I'm literally able to help you guys with. So yeah, just comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.